William Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelson. Oh, hi, Dave. I've been looking for you. Hi, Wally. Hi, Jack. Hi, Dave. Uh, will you do me a favor? Well, it depends on what it is. Well, I'm in a little trouble with Ginger, and I need your help. What kind of help? Oh, nothing very much, really. I just need you to take a walk over to the campus with me and let her see you. Uh, that is, let her see us both together. And that's all? Oh, what are you so suspicious about? I just need somebody to establish an alibi for me. Now, will you help me out, or won't you? Well, naturally, you know I will. Okay, Jack, let's put the cast on his arm. Uh, I think we better go into the kitchen. Now, wait a minute, Wally. What's this about a cast? Well, if you've got a broken arm, you've got to have it in a cast. I have a feeling we'd better just forget about this whole thing. Oh, come on now, Dave. What are you so worried about? You know Jack's a medical student. Yeah, and I can use the practice. I flunked two courses last semester. Yeah, that's beside the point. Hey, this is beginning to sound interesting. <laughs> Not to me, it isn't. Maybe I better explain your part of it before we go any farther. Yeah, maybe you better. Well, when I broke the date with Ginger last night, I told her I had to sit up with a sick friend. Well, that's an original story if I ever heard one. And I take it the sick friend was me. Yeah, you had a broken arm. Are you kidding? Well, that was the first thing I thought of when Ginger had that hammer lock on me. <laughs> well, how do you expect her to believe I have a broken arm? Oh, that's where I come in. Well, look, I'm not going to let you guys put a cast on my arm. Come on, Dave, be a sport. You only have to leave it on until she sees it. Then Jack will take it off. Well, uh, thanks a lot for the opportunity, but no thanks. Hey, you mean you're going to turn me down? Me, your best friend? Look, I need you. I'm in trouble. You know what a violent temper Ginger has. Go ahead, Dave. Well, if you like the idea so much, let him put it on your arm. I'll see you later while we have a class. Uh, Dave? Well, looks like you're it. I'm what? Uh, the guy with the cast on his arm. Hey, we can do it right here. Oh, I thought you told Ginger you were sitting up with Dave. Well, you're both the same family. I'm sure I can convince her it was you I was talking about. Are you kidding? Well, you said you'd do it. Hey, come on, Jack. Now, wait a second, Rick. Look, you're wasting your time. You're my friend, aren't you? Well, of course I am. I think we better go in the kitchen. It'll be too messy out here. Uh, come on, Rick. <laughs> you know, I get talked into these things. Hey, that looks great, Jack. Oh, thanks. Now I'll tell you guys something. That's the first one I ever put on. <laughs> How do I get it off? Oh, that's the easiest part, Rick. Just come on down to the medical center. I'll saw it off in no time. I sure appreciate this, Rick. Oh, that's okay. How's it feel? Well, it itches a little. That's good. Shows it's healing. <laughs> Come on, let's get this thing over with. Okay. Uh, thanks again, Jack. Yeah, okay, Wally. Hey, Rick, what happened? Did you break your arm? No, the cast was supposed to be on David's arm, but he had a class, so they put it on mine instead. Oh. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. Where is she? Well, she'll be along any minute. She has to come by here to get to her Spanish class. Okay, here she comes. Now, try not to look too happy. That won't be difficult. I'm not. <laughs> Ginger, Ginger, honey. Hi. Oh, hi, Ginger. What happened to your arm, Rick? Well, I had to have it put in a cast. Now, you remember I told you about it last night. You said it was David. Oh, did I say that? Yes, you did. Oh, well, that was my mistake. Uh, they're brothers, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> How did it happen, Rick? Well, uh, I went skiing last week. I thought you said he fell off a chair. Yeah, well, it was a chair on a ski lift. Uh, you know, they have this, uh, uh, this... Besides, what difference does it make how he broke it? The poor boy's arm is all wrapped up in a calf. Why is it on his leg? That's what you said he broke. <laughs> yes, you did, and goodbye. Now, wait a minute. My leg was connected to the arm bone. Uh, indirectly. Well, that was a big waste of time. Well, a lot of help you were. At least you could have groaned a little. Well, come on, let's get this thing off. Well, I'd like to help you, Rick, but I got problems of my own. Oh, sorry. I'll see you later. Ginger, Ginger, Ginger. Hey, Wally, come back here. Wally? Oh, hi. How'd it go? Well, you were right. It was a real waste of time. I gave a great performance, but the cast on my arm was supposed to be on your leg. <laughs> that's good old Wally for you. You haven't seen Jack, have you? He's supposed to meet me here and take this thing off. Oh, well, yeah, that's precisely why I'm here. You mean you're going to take it off? No, but neither is Jack. He got a call to pick up some friends at the airport. Well, when's he coming back? Well, who knows? If I had friends coming into town, I'd probably take them to dinner tonight and show them the town tomorrow. What about this cast on my arm? How am I going to get this off? 
Well, uh, Jack said one of the boys here at the medical center could take it off for you. Well, I sure hope so. Hi, Rick. Hi, Dave. Oh, hi, hi Janet. Janet. What happened to your arm? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing? I'll bet it hurts. No, no, it doesn't hurt a bit. Oh, you'd say that, but I'll bet it does. <laughs> of course, it does itch a little. Well, that's a sign it's getting better. How did it happen? Well, I was just sitting around the fraternity house, and, well, you know how those things happen. The next thing I knew, I had a cast on my arm. Gee, I'm sure sorry to hear about that. Isn't that awful, Dave? Yeah, it sure is. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Okay, thanks, Janet. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Are you kidding? What are you talking about? Well, with that routine you were giving her. Well, I just couldn't resist the opportunity. Did you see how concerned she was about me? Well, I'm a little concerned about you myself. What's she going to say when she sees you without the cast? Well, I'll just tell her it was a gag. And we'll find out whether she has a sense of humor or not. <laughs> Come on, let's get this thing off my arm. Wait a minute now. Who's the guy I'm supposed to see? Marvin. Marvin who? I don't know. Jack just said to ask for Marvin. May I help you? Uh, is there a Marvin here? Uh, there's a Marvin Crawford. He's one of the medical students. Well, he must be the one. Oh, just a moment. I don't believe he's here today. No, no, he won't be in until tomorrow. Well, is there anybody else who could take this cast off my arm? Just a moment, please. Hello? Oh, yes, doctor. Yes. Now, uh, which one of the doctors put the cast on your arm? Well, he wasn't exactly a doctor. He wasn't put on by a doctor? But no, you see, his arm isn't really broken. Then why is there a cast on? Well, it was just kind of a joke. All I want to do is get it taken off my arm. Well, the usual procedure is to have it taken off by the doctor who put it on. I know that, but my arm isn't broken and a doctor didn't put the cast on. Uh, maybe you'd better talk to Dr. Watson. He's the head of our medical department. Well, I have a feeling that wouldn't be such a good idea. What about my arm? Uh, would you like to tell Dr. Watson, the head of the medical department, all about this little episode? What? Well, on second thought, maybe this hasn't had quite enough time to heal. It's only been on about an hour. Thanks for the <laughs> Bye. Bye. Come on in the garage. Maybe we can find something to get it off with. Bye, Mom. Bye, Rick. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty hard. Oh, I'll get a hammer. Rick! What happened? She scared me, Mom. I scared you. What happened to your arm? Oh, don't worry. It's not broken. It's just a joke. What do you mean, a joke? Well, one of the medical students put it on, and now I can't get it off. A and you're sure there's nothing wrong with it? No, honest, Mom. Well, then why don't you call Dr. Williams and let him take it off for you? Well, gee, he's always so busy. I hate to bother him with something like this. Uh, come on, David. You can get it off. Well, be careful now. Yeah, don't worry, Mom. Put your arm on the bench. Uh, on second thought, let's bother Dr. Williams. I don't know. It's a little unusual to take off a cast that another doctor's put on. It isn't broken, Dr. Williams, honest. Uh, actually, the guy who put it on wasn't a doctor at all. Oh, well, I figured as much. In fact, I'd say it was a medical student who was about to leave school at the request of the faculty. <laughs> that bad? Well, maybe not quite that bad. Come on, I'll get the hammer and chisel. Yeah, that does it. You can move your arm now. Well, I was beginning to think I'd never get that thing off. Uh, what do you want me to do with these? Well, I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> See, this much, that's the last time I do a favor for Wally. Well, thanks a lot, Dr. Williams. How much do I owe you? Well, this one's on the house. Besides, I've got a poker day with your father tonight. I'll get it out of him. Well, thanks again. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Did you hear about Rick Nelson? I know what happened. He broke his arm. No kidding. Gee, that's a shame. Is he all right? Well, he has this big cast on his arm. He looked a little tired. Well, why don't we get him some magazines or something? Well, that's what I was going to do. I thought I'd bake him a cake or some cookies. That sounds like a good idea. What happened? Rick Nelson broke his arm. Oh, that's a shame. Do you hear that, girls? Rick Nelson broke his arm. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess so. Not sure if he's home yet. I just got home myself. 
We brought a few things over to cheer him up. We're so sorry to hear about his arm. His arm? Yes, how did he break it? Well, I understand he was just sitting around the fraternity house when it happened. <laughs> Wait a second. Ricky broke his arm? Oh, no, Pop. Uh, uh, that is, it's nothing to worry about. Hi, girl. Hi, uh, uh, Well, Where is he? Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, I'd better go up and see him. Uh, uh, Pop, would you tell him that the girls are here and that they brought him some magazines and cookies and stuff? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, gee, David, why don't you surprise him? Oh, don't worry. He'll be surprised. I still don't understand how he broke it. Yeah, what's the story, Dave? Nobody seems to know. Oh, uh, actually, I, I think Ricky can explain that a lot better than I can. Would you come in and sit down? Thanks. Well, Rick! Well, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just working out a little bit, Pop. Well, what about your broken arm? Oh, that's just a misunderstanding. Well, what happened? Well, see, my arm was in a cast, but it wasn't really broken. It was just a gag. Well, uh, there are some girls downstairs who think it's broken. Girls? What girls? Well, a girl named Janet and some friends of hers. Oh, great. I better go down there and straighten this out. Well, yeah, they brought some cookies and some magazines and stuff. You're kidding. No, I just let them in. Hey, Rick, Morris Nightingale and a couple of her friends are here to console you. And so I understand. Are they still downstairs? Yeah, I ran out of double talk. You better get down there and straighten it out. It's a little late for that. Pop told me they brought some presents over for me. What'd you tell him? What? Tell him anything. I'm not the one with a broken arm. Well, neither am I. Can't you do me a favor and get me out of this? If Janet finds out my arm really isn't broken, she'll never speak to me again. Well, what am I supposed to say? You can tell her the truth. Tell her I'm in bed. You can tell her I'm feeling sick, too. And believe me, I am. Thanks a lot for coming over. It was awful nice of you. I know Rick appreciates it. Well, tell him we'll be thinking about him. Is it very painful? Well, you know Rick. He never complains much. I know. He even went to all his classes today. You suppose he'll go to school tomorrow? Well, uh, that's kind of hard to say. His arm seems to be giving him a little more trouble now than it was before. Well, tell him if we don't see him at school tomorrow, we'll come by and see him tomorrow night. Well, I'm sure that'll cheer him up. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 I don't know what you're so worried about, Rick. You're in the clear, at least until tomorrow. Yeah, but what am I going to do about tomorrow? Just have to make sure that Janet and the rest of the girls don't see it. Well, that might not be so easy. You're not kidding. I have classes with all of them. Well, this is just what you've always wanted, isn't it? An excuse to cut all your classes? <laughs> I don't know why you just didn't tell them the truth in the first place. Oh, Harriet, where's your spirit of adventure? And besides, it's too late now, Mom. I don't think so. Oh, sure it is. Anyway, it'd be too embarrassing, especially for Janet. After she baked all those cookies? Well, yeah, she might even take them back. And I haven't had a chance to try them. I haven't even had a chance to read the magazines yet. <laughs> You're a big help, Pop. You know, you'd have been better off if you still had the cast on. Yeah. You could have Jack put another one on. Are you kidding? I'm not going to spend the next couple of months with a cast on my arm. Well, you wouldn't have to do that. You could probably wear it for about a week and then convince Janet that it was just a sprain or something and then take it off. Hey, I just got an idea. If I could get a hold of that cast Dr. Williams took off, I could put it on and take it off whenever I wanted to. Well, yeah, it was cut in half. Then you wouldn't have to return the magazines to the cookies. Oh, which reminds me, uh, where are the cookies, are you? Yeah, bring on the cookies. I like the way everybody's worried about my problem. <laughs> Here's the cast Rick wanted. Oh, fine, thanks. Uh, we're setting up in the dining room. Oh. Am I the first one here? Uh, yeah, uh, Darb and Joe will be along any minute. So what's Rick want with this thing? Well, he wants to put it back on his arm. Well, what for? He just had me take it off today. Well, yeah, I know, but a couple of girls stopped by with some cookies and magazines and stuff, and uh, he wants to put it back on his arm. Oh, thanks for explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Rick, uh, Dr. Williams. Oh, hi, hi, Dr. Rick. Williams. Here's your cast. Oh, thanks a lot. Your father tells me you want to put it back on your arm. Yes, sir, I do. How do you think it'd look if I put it on my arm and hold it together with some tape? Well, it'll look like you've got a broken arm. <laughs> Good, that's what I want to know. Thanks a lot. It's okay. Uh, uh Rick. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, do me a favor, will you? Don't tell anybody I'm your doctor. <laughs> hey, David, help me get this on, will you? What's your hurry? Why don't you wait until we get to school? Well, Janice in my first class. Where's the tape? Right here.
Where are the scissors? In the glove compartment. Well, why didn't you get them out? I got a broken arm. Well, I can imagine the service you want if your arm really was broken. <laughs> Here, how's that? Uh, can I make one suggestion, Doctor? Uh, next time, don't put the cast on over the shirt sleeve. <laughs> Okay with me, it happens to be one of your shirts. <laughs> hey, it is one of my shirts. Careful now, my broken arm. How are you doing, Rick? Oh, pretty good. I don't know whether we'll be able to read it or not. I sure can. Do you want me to write it for you? Oh, that's okay. I think I can manage. Uh, Mr. Nelson. Yes, sir? Are you having a little difficulty there? Well, it's a little awkward. Well... Under the circumstances, I think we can excuse you from writing the composition. Oh, well, thanks, Professor, but I really think I can manage, okay? No, really, it's not necessary. Besides, that'll be one less paper for me to correct tonight. Okay. Do you want me to carry your book? Oh, no, thanks, I've got it. Actually, I could have written that composition. In fact, my arm feels a lot better today. I wouldn't be surprised if it healed in no time. Oh, that's good. Oh, hi, Dana. Hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Wally. Hey, how come you still got the cast on your arm? Well, it's just been on since yesterday. Oh, I know, but you can take it off now. Ginger didn't go for it. <laughs> in fact, she almost broke my arm. <laughs> oh, don't pay any attention to him. He wouldn't think of saying things like, sorry, you broke your arm, Rick, and I hope you're feeling better. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry, Rick. Uh, sorry you broke your arm, that is. Uh, I hope you're feeling better. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, it feels a lot better. <laughs> To the library, Michael. See you later. Okay, okay bye. Bye. You think she got wise? Oh, no, no. In fact, I think you're playing it very well. But I don't get it. What's the big idea? See, Janet thinks I really did break my arm. And she made such a big deal out of it, I just haven't got the nerve to tell her it was a gag. Well, gee, I hope you make out better than I did. Ginger still isn't speaking to me. Well, not that I mind that so much, but now I've got to get another date for the dance tomorrow night. I've got my own problems. Here, help me get this thing off, will you? Oh, does it come off? Yeah, just unwind the tape. Hey, this is pretty clever. I may order one of these for myself. I wonder if they come in different colors. Well, that feels a lot better. This thing was driving me nuts. Gentlemen. Hi, Professor. Uh, you see, there's this girl. Well, uh, I have a free period this afternoon. I'll uh, get right at the composition. <laughs> I wish I could figure out some way of explaining this thing to Janet. Uh, I think she's sort of expecting me to take her to the dance. I know I'd like to. Well, why don't you take her anyway? You can dance with a cast on your arm. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Besides, I know practically everybody's gonna be there. I'd really get involved. Hey, Rick, dance coming. You better put the cast on. <laughs> right My hand's stuck in there, Dave. <laughs> Janet. Uh, hi, hi, Janet. Janet. Well, I guess we better get going. Yeah. Uh, Janet, before you get mad at me, just sit down here and give me a chance to explain this whole thing. Why didn't you tell me that instead of letting me make a fool out of myself? Well, I suppose I should have. But you were so thoughtful and sympathetic, and then when you brought those cookies over, you were so wonderful about the whole thing. Well, I just didn't have the heart to tell you. Well, I liked you, and I felt sorry for you. No, uh, I know, and... I should have told you. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand what a spot you were in. But would you consider going to the dance with me tomorrow night, or are you too mad at me? Gee, Rick, I've waited all week for you to ask me. I've already accepted another invitation. I understood you weren't going. Well, who told you that? Wally. He said he was sure you weren't going because of your broken arm. Now, wait a second. Are you by any chance going to the dance with him? Yes. In fact, he just asked me a little while ago. That double-crosser. Oh, don't say that, Rick. He's very fond of you. Yeah, I'll bet. Well, he seemed terribly concerned about your arm. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're not mad at me, and I'm glad I don't have to wear this darn thing anymore. Yeah, it must have been uncomfortable in more ways than one. Well, will I see you at the dance? Oh, gee, I, I don't think so. Well, I don't know why you didn't plan to go anyway. You could still dance with a cast on your arm. Yeah, I suppose. Now, if it were on your leg, that would be different. Yeah. Or to be absolutely impossible with a cast on both legs. What are you talking about? 
talking about? I may go to the dance after all. Oh, yes, it's a wonderful dance. I can't understand why Wally never showed up. Well, I'm glad he didn't. I'm sure glad you happened to stop by. I wouldn't have gotten to the dance at all. Well, it was a lucky break for me. You don't think I should have waited a little longer for him, do you? Oh, no. I have a feeling he's not going to make it tonight. <laughs> well, Dave, what do you think of it? Oh, you did a beautiful job, Jack. Thanks. Kind of proud of it myself. Come on, you guys, let me go. Well, right after the dance. Oh, Dave, couldn't we leave it on until Monday morning? I'd kind of like my professor to take a look at this. Okay, Monday morning then. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go. You'll never get away with this. Come back here. Come back here. I warn you, I take a dim view of this. <laughs> 